Hey guys, it's Jessica and I'm finally back with a video. Um, I feel like I haven't done a video forever and I guess I've been posting, but it's not necessarily like my regular run of the mill hair videos. So I figured why not to go ahead and show you guys my recent haul. Um, as many of you know, as of January, I was on a no buy. Um, because I was going to go to the World Natural Hair Show at the end of April, but that didn't work out, unfortunately. Um, but basically my no-buy was until the end of April. So, um, I went ahead and picked up some stuff. A lot of stuff. Y'all know me. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yeah, um... I think the first couple things I got were from Basque because Basque was having a Mother's Day sale and I was completely out of my palm tapioca so I knew I had to get that. Um, she Sense it also had a sale. Um, I was, I'm on my very last bottle of the avocado conditioner and I know they changed it and I've been wanting to try the new formulation of the avocado conditioner so I got some of those. I also ordered from um, Heritage Hydration which that was a complete impulse buy like complete like I put stuff in my car and checked out in less than five minutes I mean yeah it was completely impulse um and then lastly I got some stuff from cream and cocoa because a lot of people have been raving about their products especially their soaps and stuff um and they were having a birthday sale so I ended up um taking advantage of that I do have one more thing but it's not here yet it's supposed to be here today so if I get it today I'll add it into this video, but if not, I'll just show you guys in another video. So, are you ready? It's going to be a long video. Get your snacks and stuff, water, tea, whatever. Y'all already know. So, true to form, true to form, the inner product junkie reared its ugly head as soon as I ordered my first purchase from Basque. And this whole big bag is full, and this bad boy is heavy. So, first up um first up is cream and cocoa like i said i ordered from their birthday sale um it was back april 29th 30th or something like that and is this everything that i got from them yes and this is the first time i've ordered from cream and cocoa a couple of kind of impressions if you will um i ordered i believe on the 29th at midnight when whenever their sale started at midnight it was either 29th or 30th and um she had a lot of stuff that wasn't in stock some of her so soaps and stuff that i wanted weren't in stock so she told us via facebook she put a facebook post up saying that if you want a soap that's not in stock you have to order through their soap special so they had a soap special of you could get three of her soaps for like twelve dollars and then i think you could get five or seven for another amount so i went ahead and got her three soaps special and you just had to tell her in the comments what soaps that you wanted which is what i did um and basically she said that you know if you do it this way please allow an additional week because obviously the soaps and stuff have to be made and all this stuff so i'm like okay cool so i did that i ordered all my stuff and then the next morning i realized that i wanted to swap out one of my soaps so i immediately sent an email i got like one of those kind of generic emails back saying please allow two to three business days longer if it's holidays or sales so i was like okay so i emailed them i believe on a tuesday i want to say it was a tuesday and i was like well this is a pretty big birthday sale and i know she extended the sale so i waited until the next week heard nothing back at all um was seeing on facebook a lot of people were like questioning about the order nobody's emails were being answered y'all know my eyebrow was kind of raised and i was a little perturbed just a little bit and i was like okay well the sale's still going on she did extend it i know they were having a lot of issues with the sale from the looks of it so um I actually sent another email a week later saying, hey, um, you know, I still haven't heard back. I just wanted to swap this one thing out and like give me an estimated time of when my stuff would ship. And, you know, I let the rest of that week go by. I think it was like Friday or Saturday and I still hadn't heard back. And I was like, okay, it's been like almost two weeks now. This is getting kind of ridiculous. And basically, I did something that I don't really like doing, but unfortunately, it gets the attention 
of companies um, and I just posted on their Facebook page I said hey I've sent two emails it's been almost two weeks I haven't heard anything can I get something um, and pretty much immediately I got a response so yeah um, otherwise customer service was fine shipping when they got it out shipping was fine um, I did have one little issue with one of my packaged items um, but it's not too too big of a deal uh, but yeah kind of communication was on the slower side um, and last time I checked I think people are still having issues with their birthday sale order and it's been a month now so yeah um, but anyway let's get into it what I got was the soaps that I got um, are actually <laughs> what I will call her feminine soaps um, because so many people, like, I mean, so many people are in love with these soaps. I personally had to be like, I need to know what these soaps are about. So basically they're feminine wash soaps. Um, and typically for me, I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of detail, but typically I just buy store bought, you know, at the store feminine soaps and whatnot. But I figured, Hey, why not try a natural soap? Because I would like for everything to be nice and clean and fresh down there. So why not go the all natural route? So I picked up, um, two of her pink cookie soaps, which this is the soap that everybody has been raving about. Um, and it's not a full size because I cut off the end here, but this is what it looks like. Um, I did cut off a piece. It's in my, in my shower. Uh, I will say I have been using this for a week. I really, really like it. And I understand why so many people love this soap. I like it. Two thumbs up. Um, and I also got two of the honey pot soaps, which are her newer, um, feminine wash soaps and this is what it looks like this is the full size bar compared to say this one because you can see I clearly cut a piece of this off but this is what that one looks like so I got two of each um, and they say to keep it in a dry spot because these soaps are really really soft I actually got one of her soaps um, her shampoo bar and a curl kit and it is extremely soft so if you ever order from cream and cocoa just be aware that she has extremely soft soaps and you want to keep them dry to you know not have them melt um excessively so those are the only soaps that i got for her so those are those i got um two pink cookie and two honey pot and then she also released a new um co-wash bar and i was already interested in her cocoa mallow co-wash bar so she put up that night that you could get both of them i think for like 18 bucks or something i don't know it was cheaper to buy both of them than them separately so basically this is the coco mallow co-wash conditioning bar and it comes in like a little plastic container like this and they're really hard to open which is kind of annoying um oh but i guess to keep water out but this is what it looks like it's just a soft um bar and the smell the smell you initially get like cocoa which is like a chocolatey smell but then you get this like cologne like it smells like a man's cologne i think lola kinks did a review on this and she said it smells like man's cologne i agree um it's actually kind of a turn off for me i mean it's not super super horrible but i really hope that when I wash my hair with this the smell doesn't linger because yeah I don't I'm not in love with the smell um and the other co-wash conditioning bar I got was the new one and this is the mango lassi I think it's called and it looks like that and this is my minor shipping issue um I don't know if you can see that but like down here at the bottom is broken uh I mean obviously nothing spilled out or anything but I just that's kind of irritating and then this one is a lot softer, and I know people have been complaining about this one being softer. I've been on their Facebook page. Um, again, if I can open this darn container. Um, and if you can see, like, there's instructions on how to use it, like, on the front of the top. And you can see how it's kind of all messed up. That's because it's, like, melted onto the bar. And I'm not picking this one up to show you it because it's really, really super soft. Um, the smell, I like the smell a lot better. Um, you get like a nice kind of free citrusy smell, but there is like an after smell of something. Um, there's 
something. Yeah. I don't know. All of her products have this. Just I'm just going to say they just have a weird smell. This one, out of all the things I got, is my favorite smelling one. I'll just say that. <laughs> so this is the Mango Lassie Co-Wash Conditioning Bar. Um, the next thing I got is the Salted Caramel Creme Brulee Deep Conditioning Mask. Looks like that. And this is the Coco Mallow Co-Wash Fluff. Now this one, um, she said, is for people who don't necessarily like the Coco Mallow Bar. This is that. It's just like a fluff version. And again, you could get both of these for a discounted price versus paying for each individual one. Um, this is a 12 ounce container and then this one is a 16 ounce container. Um, the Coco Mallow Co-Wash Fluff. As if you know, I didn't like the smell of the bar. The smell of this stuff. <coughs> uh, I don't even know what it is. I think it's because she has perfume in all of her products. And all of them, you get a perfume smell. It's not fragrance, it's perfume. And I could really, I could do without it. Like, I can't even give you... It doesn't t smell like cocoa. It doesn't smell like anything. Like, it just smells straight up like perfume. And again, if this is smell lingers in my hair, no, it will not be okay. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. It's a, um, like a soft, thick, con like it feels like a really thick conditioner. Um, so that's really nice about it. But the smell... No, no ma'am. I'm, I'm not in love with the scents. Um, so yeah, this is the Coco Mallow Co-Wash Fluff. And then um, finally, the Salted Caramel Creme Brulee Deep Conditioning Mask. Again, uh, the smell. They do come with like little protective things, for those of you who want to know. Um, and this stuff, this deep conditioner is like hella, hella, hella thick. Um, it's actually kind of weird I don't know um, but again this is what it looks like it's just like a dark brown color um, and again it's really kind of smooth um, I don't know it's I wish it was a little bit wetter actually there's like um, of course water is the first ingredient I don't know it's just it's weird I don't know how to kind of explain it and again this smell it's it's bad like <laughs> if I knew and this is what happens when I don't do my research okay I didn't research if anybody on YouTube had uh, reviewed these yet but uh yeah if I would have known about the smells on these I probably would have gone without I probably would have just picked up the um the body bars but um again I feel like I smell coffee well I, I guess I can kind of pick up the salted caramel Honestly, if you were to ask me just based on smells, would I repurchase any of these? I would tell you no, outside of the uh, body bars. But I mean, as far as all the hair products I got, would I repurchase based on smell? No. Um, but I'm not going to let that deter my review, as always, you guys know. Um, so yeah, that's all I got from Cream and Coco. Look out for a review for that. If you got that I got from my local Walmart, um, just like some new some new stuff and the first of which is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Conditioning Co-Wash. My girl Miss Tasty Tasty Redbone here on YouTube posted up a picture a couple weeks ago and we've been on the hunt ever since. Uh, I found this in only, I have four Walmarts in my city. Um, I think it's four, maybe five, but I only found this at one store. Um, I actually got two of these. The second one is in my shower. I have used it a couple times so far. It's, it's cool. It's nice. Um, so yeah, I got that. I think this was like four or five dollars, really, really cheap. So yeah, there's that. I also picked up, um, the finally, because I have secretly been wanting this forever, ever since I saw Jack of All Trades 87. I think she did a review of this and she did a wash and go with it. Oh my God, her hair was phenomenal. Um, this is the Beautiful Textures Curl Defining Styling Custard. I also got this from Walmart. I think this was like five or six bucks. Really, really inexpensive. This is a 15 ounce jar of gel and I'll show you the consistency. I guess I can show you the consistency of the co-wash too, but this is what it looks like and I'm not going to tip it too much because it's really, really runny um, and it smells really good. It's a nice kind of fruity, 
florally fragrance. Um, I really like this stuff. As far as the smell on the co-wash, um, it doesn't, it doesn't really smell like anything. It's a light kind of florally scent. It is, um, nice and creamy. It's not too thick, but it's really nice, creamy, and slippery. I really, really like this stuff, the consistency of it. Um, so I also got a, uh, actually I got two of these other ones in my shower. I actually co-washed with yesterday and I... I'm in love. <laughs> um, this is the VO5 Herbal Escapes Clarifying Conditioner Kiwi Lime Squeeze with Lemongrass Extract. I know a lot of people have been raving about this VO5 conditioner and it has taken me forever to try it. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I'm blanking on your name, but my thrifted closet here on YouTube, she's also on Instagram. Um, she loves this stuff and she's the one who really pushed me to try this so shout out to my thrifted closet i am in love with this stuff the only downside is when i used it yesterday i used half of a bottle just to co-wash with um but it's really really nice um i love it i'm gonna go out and get a lot more probably in the next couple days so i also got that um i also picked up another shea moisture african black soap uh balancing conditioner i really love this conditioner um so yeah, I just got one of those just because I was out of it and I need it. Um, and I'll get in another video, in my update video about my hair and stuff, I'll explain why I need it nowadays. So moving on, um, oh, I actually also did purchase something from Honey Child Hair Love. Hey girl, um, she came out with a new buttercream and this one is um, pineapple scented, flavored, whatever. Um, it smells just like pineapples. This is just, it smells so good. And as you can tell, I have used a good bit of this. Um, it's nice and creamy and just really, I love it. Actually, you know what? Let's do this right now. <laughs> Live demo. <laughs> Um, but it's really nice and creamy. It goes into my hair really, really smooth. Um, it gives me great, great shine. I wouldn't, um, categorize this into my buttercream, like my personal buttercreams per se. Um, I do have a buttercream video that I am making today, so it should be up soon. So I'll kind of explain more, but, um, nonetheless, this stuff is just like, awesome. I love to refresh my hair with it in the mornings and it just is great at moisturizing and it just is fantabulous and it smells amazing. Um, so yeah, I just picked up her pineapple buttercream. Um, I'm not sure if it's on her website yet. Uh, it is fairly new and I think she has like two or three other more scents. So if you can't find it on her website, hit her up via Facebook or email and she'll hook you up. So yeah. My next stuff is from Basque. I got the Kapashu uh, Coconilla Bean Body Oil Drizzle, which I actually use on my hair and it is like awesome. And I'm shaking it up because there's debris and stuff, well not debris, but there's ingredients and stuff in here that's actually subtle. And you can kind of see how it's like swirling around and stuff. Um, but there's really great ingredients in here. There's um, sweet almond oil, virgin coconut cream, Kapashu butter, macadamia seed oil, um, lecithin, <laughs> uh, Madagascar vanilla bean, which you can actually see the vanilla bean, and vanilla essential oil and vitamin E. So this is what it looks like. Um, it smells like vanilla. Like you get the little hint of the vanilla bean, but it's also like, has like some warm tones in it. But the one thing I have to say, because this stuff is not cheap, even when it was on sale, I think I still paid $14 for it or something on sale. Um, I mean, it was really only filled up to like here and it wasn't filled up to like the top. I need for it to be filled up to the top because this stuff is really nice. Um, it's a thicker oil, so that's why I guess they call it a body drizzle, but it is like awesome. I really, really like it for sealing and stuff. So that's what I got. Um, I also picked up two of the Palm Tapioca Deluxe Hair Creams, Butter Creams. Love, 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 love them. Um, they are definitely a staple. That's why I made this bath purchase in the first place. Got two of those. Um, I also picked up one of her scrubs, and this is the Muscavado. 
something Moscato <laughs> vanilla and pecan sugar sorbet uh, I absolutely love her body scrubs and I love her new packaging and stuff but this is I've used this one but this is what that one looks like really fine um, sugar scrub and it smells like vanilla mm, it smells so good so I got that I also got a sample of this is the lemon beignet scrub I haven't used this one yet but for whatever reason mine didn't get a label and I know some people's got labeled but um Oh my gosh, if you smelled her vanilla or lemon beignet whipped custards or whatever, exact same smell. It smells amazing. I haven't used it yet, but she filled it all the way to the top, so that's like a nice, decent size sample. Love it! And last but not least, I also picked up the vanilla whiskey reparative hair soak. I have not tried this. This is fairly new. Um, and in terms of smell... Let me take off this little protective thing. I don't really, I get like a little bit of vanilla. I mean, it's kind of like, you get some kind of fragrance. It's not really a bad smell, but you don't get like this lemon beignet scrub or like the vanilla oil, this nice, like really rich kind of sweet smelling stuff. It's just kind of a little bit of vanilla. I guess that after note is the whiskey. It's not really strong smelling at all. I know a lot of people say that this doesn't linger in their hair at all, so it's not a bad smell. It's it's just okay. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's nice and thick. So yeah, I'll be using that soon. So that's it from Basque. Okay, so next thing I got was from Heritage Hydration um, off of Etsy. This is the first time I ordered from her. She was having a 26% off sale on a Friday. Um, and like I said, it was completely impulse buy. I put all these in my cart and in less than five minutes I had ordered. So the first thing I got is the, um, and the label's kind of smudged on this one, unless we got wet by accident, is the soft coconut marshmallows. Um, and it looks like this, sorry, the label's a little bit smudged. Um, looks like this. It smells like a nice, like sweet hearts or some kind of candy. Or like sprees or skittles. Skittles, actually. Yeah, skittles, not sweet tarts. Mm, smells really good. It's a really thick, uh, creamy, really nice um, kind of... This is a leave-in conditioner, I believe. Yeah, or you can use it as a detangler, but I'll probably use this as a leave-in. Um, so this is the soft coconut marshmallows. I also got the, her dark honey wash. And as you can see, I have used it. Um, but unfortunately when I took it in the shower with me, the label rubbed off. So there is no label. Um, but this is her, um, her co-wash conditioner and it smells, mm, it smells so good. This smells like my Marie Dean sweet honey deep conditioner, which I also have a review coming. Um, it's just a sweet honey smell it's really really nice um so yeah I'm gonna use this a couple more times and I'll probably be doing a review on it soon this is the sweet honey uh, I also got the pink lemon berry mimosa again this is a kind of leave-in um conditioner or she says you can use it to re-moisturize your hair again smells really nice it's a light sweet smell you definitely get that kind of lemon berry smell Mm, it's really nice and sweet and if you can see it's fairly thick it's a little bit looser Woo! of course I go in it's a little bit looser and runnier than the um, than the the marshmallow one that I just showed you but yeah it smells really nice so this also I may uh, play around with this I may use this as a um, leave-in or moisturizer as well so there's that and last but not least um who was it? Ashley was you. I think it was Curly Pat. I was talking to her and she said she had tried. I don't know if she's tried this or she has it. Um, but this is the cream of broccoli. Um, I'm assuming this is like a moisturizer or something, but this is what it looks like. And let me open it. Hmm. It smells like a really nice kind of clean, fresh smell. This is what it looks like. Really thick. Um, and really kind of creamy so again I'll probably use this as a moisturizer or a leave-in um or something so yeah and I heard the reason why I got this is because I've heard like broccoli seed oil and there's broccoli butter 
um, and stuff is really good for your hair. So I kind of wanted to see what it's all about. So yeah, that's everything I got from Heritage Hydration. Um, shipping was super fast. I, I had like one little issue where I had to pay like extra postage for whatever reason, but it was only a couple of cents. Um, we still don't know what happened there, but it was no big deal really. Um, so yeah, there is that long so last but not least i ordered from she sent it and i actually got two of their 16 ounce avocado conditioners they have changed this slightly the con um the ingredients i think it's just one ingredient that has changed um the smell is the same but it's slightly more runny um yeah the smell is the exact same so i will be doing a comparison because i do have half of my old bottle left so i'll be comparing the new versus the old and let you guys know about that i also picked up their coconut sorbet with argan oil and moisturizing aloe it looks like this um and this is a shine enhancing hairdress so it's kind of like a pomade um as well as a pre poo treatment it's basically nothing but oils and i think there is like a palm butter or something in here but this is what it looks like um and it's really just like it's firm but like as soon as you touch it it starts to kind of melt down on you so yeah um definitely probably will just be using this on top of my hair just to you know add some shine or whatnot but i'll probably mainly be using this as a pre-poo just to see how it works out again i got it on a whim um next i got the papaya curly souffle and the brazil nut curly buttercream because i couldn't choose between both of them so i got both of them one downside is I wouldn't have got these if they weren't on sale because their containers are only five and a half ounces and yeah, it, I think originally they're like $10 or $12 or something for five and a half ounces and I'm like, really? No. Um, but I got them on sale. So the Brazil Nut Buttercream and they are, they are slightly different from one another. So I'll show you guys if I can open up, open up, um, mm. it doesn't really smell like anything to me there's like a nutty smell but this is the um brazil nut one this is what it looks like and then the papaya curly souffle um smells like has like a grape smell but this is what this one looks like and you can tell it's like a it's like loose it's like a loose kind of um cream type so this is what they look like next to each other so this one is the what is this one this one is the curly souffle which is a lot looser um and this one is the brazil nut buttercream which is thicker um and has like more oils and stuff in it so yeah i got both of those um, i also got their this is also new this is their rich uh, moisture mask ultra moisturizing conditioning treatment that's what the label looks like and the smell because y'all know um, mm, it smells really nice. It's a little bit on the perfumey side, but not too, too bad. It's not like overly perfumed. It smells good. Um, and that's kind of what it looks like. It's fairly thick, um, and wiggly and it's kind of like creamy if you can tell. Let's see. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this. I know, um, somebody tried this and they said they really liked it. So I'm excited to try this as a deep conditioner. And last but not least, I, because y'all know, I don't know, I do nothing but wash and goes, and gels are my downfall. I got the macadamia, macadamia Fixing Gel, and it's a botanical styling gel for curls. Looks like this. It's a nine ounce bottle, so this should last me a little bit. Um, the smell, again, this is like a perfumey smell. Um, not too, too bad, but definitely get the perfume and it's fairly it's a thick a thick gel um kind of slippery and slimy how I like but you still definitely feel the thickness in there um it's not as kind of slimy as say Uncle Funky's Daughter or Kiss My Face Upper Management Gel um it's actually kind of in the middle so yeah there's that I haven't tried this yet but I'm excited to use it um and for those of you who want to know if there's glycerin in it there is up oh, there's vegetable glycerin but it's kind of towards the bottom um and the ingredient list on this isn't that long so there's that um so yeah that's my haul hey guys i'm back i actually uh my mailman actually just delivered my 
last box in my haul, so I figured I'd come and do an unboxing for you guys. Um, but I also forgot, another thing that I got from Basque is their 7-Fold Butter Blend, and this is their Whipped Hair Butter in the Citrus Rind scent. It looks like that, and it was actually in my... Um, in my yoga bag because I usually use it after I get out of yoga if I'm going somewhere um, but this is what it looks like you can tell I have used this bad boy a lot um, I really really like it it's really nice and kind of creamy again it's all like as soon as you touch it it turns into an oil so what I like to use this for is like in the morning or at night um, at night I kind of mist my hair a little bit with water or something some kind of liquid and then I put this on top to help seal it in or in the morning when I take my hair down, instead of like using a refresher spray or something, what I typically have been doing is using a butter or an oil or something like this to kind of combat the frizzies and the dryness. This box right here, I actually ordered from the Yanobe shop. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, I post a lot of sale info. Not that I necessarily buy from every sale because for whatever reason people think that if I post something talking about a sale that I'm buying it. I'm not necessarily buying it. Um, but if you follow me on Facebook, I try to post as much sale info on different companies just to let people know. Um, so yeah, I found them randomly on Facebook and they had a sale. You could either have 10% off or you could have free shipping on them. So I, of course, chose the free shipping option. So let's open it up. Oh, it came really nicely packaged. I like the packaging. So you can see all of the little um, like packing peanuts so it's secure and then it looks like I have like a little card here. Um, so let's, I kind of forget <clears throat> what I ordered. So let's see. Okay, so they include your invoice, which is awesome. Okay. And then they also looks like they send you like a little card and it says big thanks on it. This is really cute this up here um and it says thank you from the Inobe shop i hope that's how you pronounce it um oh that's cute and they give you like a little 10 percent um discount for your next order when you leave feedback um and you can do that on their facebook page and whatnot that's cute and then they give you like a little business card so that's really cute she's based out of Columbus, Ohio. Um, and I actually ordered this on su this past Sunday, so the 19th, and today is the 22nd. So shipping was relatively fast. Okay. So, ooh, everything's packaged so nicely. Uh, what is this? This is, okay, so there's two of these in here. I'm going to have to bust these bad boys open. So, hang on. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Um, well, let me show you. This is how it's packaged. Um, so I guess you put two balls in the pack and they kind of tape it so nothing opens up or anything, which is really nice. Um, like they really, <laughs> Th this is how I want my stuff to come packaged. I don't mind having to like bust out scissors and stuff to get my stuff and pack out of the package. So I really like the packaging and how they care for it. Okay. The first thing is their hibiscus and marshmallow leave-in conditioner. I don't know if my camera can pick up the label, but this is a leave-in conditioner. Let's smell it. Mmm. Has like a slightly fruity smell. Kind of earthy. Very, very light. No kind of anything that really hits you in the face. Um, it says it's infused with dry flowers and herbs, so I'm probably picking up on the... Um, on the flowers. So that is the hibiscus and marshmallow leave-in conditioner. I'm running out of room here. Um, the next thing I got is their um, lemongrass and avocado flaxseed smoothie, which is a gel. And again, you probably can't, I don't think my camera is picking up the label, but all the labels look the same. Mmm. Oh, you definitely get the lemongrass in this. I love lemongrass. So it's a nice lemony scent. Mmm. And this is what it looks like. It's fairly thick. Hmm. Oh, and it's slightly tacky. So it's definitely like a flaxseed um, type gel. I, I love, like I make my own flaxseed gel. And y'all know I don't make nothing. That's how much I love flaxseed gel. Um, 
so yeah, I'm. this is the lemongrass and avocado flaxseed smoothie. So I'm excited to try that. I didn't show you guys the consistency of the leave-in. Let me do that really quickly. Yeah, it's those flowers in there, but that's what the leave-in looks like. It's nice and thick, and it's not really too runny. Ooh, it's nice and slippery. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So far, so good. Um, what else is in here? This, like, packaging, y'all are on point. I, I love this right here. Um, this is their pre-poo treatment, and I was kind of on the fence about getting this, but it looks so good. It has, like, a coconut smell, but if you can see, that's what, I mean, this is filled to the top. Like, there's nothing really in the lid. That's filled to the top, so... It's really nice. Ooh, nice and slippery. You definitely can get those oils in there. Um, be great as a pre-poo treatment. So, yeah. So that is the pre-poo treatment. What else? What else? Um, looks like I have a sample in here. Oh, this is... Rah! <laughs> Come out. This is their um, Amla and Nettle Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. I really like that it's in a jar and I love the little green top uh, with their little logo on it again. Um, and I believe I got the 8 ounce one uh, and I got it with the soy protein. It does have soy protein in it. You can get it with or without the soy protein and I got it with the soy protein. Um, and I believe, I'm pretty sure that this is 8 ounces. So... Ooh, mmm, has a nice smell. It's like a nice, clean. Ooh, what is that? It smells really good. Oh, there's cinnamon in it. I think is that cinnamon? Yeah. Mmm, it smells good. It's really thick. It looks like if you can see. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna like that. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> I'm at that point in my hair journey where if I just touch a product, I, I pretty much can gauge how much my hair is going to like it. Um, and I think I'm going to like that. So this, I don't know what this is. I don't know if I, did I? One, two, three, I'm pretty sure I only got four things. Let's see. Let's open it and see. It just is coming in a little non-labeled pack. Oh, actually I did order this. This is in a sample. I know what this is. Um, this is their Silky Shea Cream, yeah, and I saw Miss Smitty, um, 73, is it? Um, she got this in either a swap sack or her curl box or a curl kit or some kind of box and she had, like, absolutely fabulous results and she did a really great review on it and, um, mm, <clears throat> it smells like spearmint, um, and I just, she kind of pushed me over the edge to try this, but this is what it looks like. It's really nice and smooth and creamy. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look, this this reminds me of the Juicy Leave-In by Naturally Lisa Cosmetics. This is what this reminds me of. And it has a nice kind of uh, spearminty, some kind of minty smell to it. So, yeah, that's everything I got from the Yanobe shop. Uh, super quick, um shipping customer service I didn't have an issue uh the one kind of complaint is I uh pay with PayPal and the receipt I got was only a PayPal receipt so I didn't get a separate receipt with like an order number and stuff from the company but when it shipped I got a thing saying um your order shipped from the company as well as PayPal so that's okay um and also what I'm noticing is it on these two yeah um so what I'm noticing is that on the back of their labels they have the dates, I'm assuming, in which they were made because they all say May 18th, 2013. So these were made the same week I actually ordered them, so that's good to know that they're nice and fresh. Um, so yeah, that is the rest of my haul. Um, I am probably not going to buy anything for a while. I'm not necessarily going to put myself on a no-buy, probably like a low-buy. Um, but yeah, I don't really feel the need to get anything else, so I'll just... I have all these new goodies to play in and then we'll see what happens. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below and I will get to them. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in my next video.